You think you're represented by a Republican Party that's going to save you? You're going to buy that Newt Gingrich garbage all over again? You're going to buy that crap from them again? Are you crazy? Are you people out of your damn minds? You think that those pigs are going to save you? You had eight years of them. Look what they did to you. And who on the who on the conservative side of the band and radio was there for you? Only me. Only me. Rush was a gut. Rush was a water carrier for the Republican Party. He still is. You mark my words. I know you may love him. I know he does a good job. I know he's a fabulous guy. I understand all of that, and I know I shouldn't criticize him. But let me tell you something. By his own admission, in the last year of Bush, he had to admit he was a water carrier for George Bush because he saw what was happening to his ratings. He saw what was happening. Okay? But make no mistake about it. As sure as I'm standing here, he's going to become a water carrier, as will Wallbanger again. In fact, Wallbanger's the lead speaker at the RNC. What does that tell you about them? They're going to lead you right back this way to the egress. P.T. Barnum, this way to the egress. Now, there was no egress. There was only uh, nothing there. He, uh, you know, P.T. Barnum, who created Ringling Brothers, Barnum & Bailey, wanted to get the people out of the uh, out of the circus after a certain act. He needed to get the next crowd of schmucks in there, and they wouldn't leave. They wanted to eat peanuts and look stand around, and they'd pay. He didn't know how to get them out. So he set up an exhibit down a long hall, this way to the egress. And the average schmuck didn't know what an egress was. Oh, let me go see the egress. Oh, go. this way to the egress. Step right up. Egress down here. And he got them marching to the egress. There was no egress. It was an exit. But he had to create something to make them go out of the out of the tent in order to sell the next crowd. To me, many of these guys who wrap themselves in pseudo... Um, I, I called, named it the other day. You heard of pseudo-intellectuals. These are pseudo-rednecks on the radio. You know, pseudo-rednecks. They're pseudo rednecks. They're acting like they're you and the average guy out there. Yeah, Gulfstream Jad. Yeah, there's a guy. Yeah, all right. Sure. Pseudo redneck. Right. Oh, I'm just an Okie fam for Okie. I'm just like you, buddy. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm. You're a good American. You're a great American. I'm just like you, buddy. I'm just like you, buddy. I'm just an Okie from Fanoki. I'm with you, buddy. I'm with. I'm with you, buddy. I feel your pain. I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you. Buddy. I'm with you. A place where even squares. Yeah. Right. That's it. That's it. Good old rush. Good old wall banger. So be careful about the Republicans that are coming back uh, into the uh, uh, picture again like they're going to save you. Be very, very careful indeed because you had eight years of the bums and you threw them out. Many of you, by the way, I met, I met, I met people saying, I'll vote for anyone but McCain. We don't want more of the same. We're getting rid of him. I remember that. I said, don't be careful. Even he you know, would be better. They said, well, no, Obama will be so bad that the people will wake up to what the Democrats are forever. Well, you know, it's only one year into Barry's administration. He's got a long way to go. And if you underestimate these people, you're doing so at your age. 